Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I feel like I have not filmed in so long so if I'm a bit rusty that'd be why. But today I have an autumn winter haul for you. Um, I have got candly stuff, beauty and fashion. So without further ado let's get going. So I am going to start off with the candly stuff. Now I say candly stuff because the first things, things yes, are not technically candles but they're the Yankee Candle Wax Tarts. Um, we got a wax burner a couple of Christmases ago from my, I call her my sister-in-law, not my but you know, from Matthew's sister. <laughs> um, so I stocked up on kind of Christmassy autumnal scents. Um, so I'm going to just go through and tell you which ones. So I've got Snowflake, Snowflake Cookie, this little pink one. I've got a bit of a cold by the way so. It does smell like a sugar cookie, like a, um, you know like a biscuit with like, I've got hair on my mouth. You know like a biscuit with like royal icing on it? Like buttery but with a hint of spice. I don't think it says what they smell like but yeah, smells like that. I'm not sure I'm convinced. Then, I don't know why, but I got Christmas cookie as well. Now I prefer this one because it's got a bit more of a citrus undertone. I think, unless that's got it from, in fact, actually it's that besides spice orange. I do prefer it because it's not as, like, buttery. Um. But yeah, Matthew likes both of these. I think he's into like more foody kind of smells. And every time I film, there's a siren. I swear I don't live in like a crime hotspot or anything. <gasps> um, next up we have Cozy by the Fire. And this one's got a quite a warm cinnamony undertone. I love cinnamony, cinnamony, um, spiced candles. And there's something else there. It's more like clean as well as cinnamon. It's not like too overpowering my cinnamon. Cinnamon, it's a funny word. And then next up we have spiced orange, which as the name suggests is orangey and spiced. It smells like, it smells like something that I had from Lush. It smells really good, I like it. Uh, next we have Christmas Eve. I think this candle form of this has been out for quite a long time. But it's like a little spicy, but more of a warmth, just and sweet. I suppose I should have looked up the notes of these before I started filming, shouldn't I? Then we have Lake Sunset. It does smell quite outdoorsy and quite floral, but not overpoweringly floral. Then we have Sparkling Cinnamon, which is very cinnamony. And it's really nice, but it's like, it's like sweet, but there's something less sweet about it than the other cinnamon one and then we have sweet apple which just smells like spicy kind of a little spicy maybe it's the other one contaminating it but it smells like apple and I did buy two candles now these are um, Wickford and Co I bought them in Home Bargains for like 69 79p I got mulled wine which is it just smells like smell the wax in this so you know it's quite a cheap candle. It smells slightly sweet and spicy. And then apple cinnamon. I don't know whether it's because I'm, I've got a cold and I can't smell it so much or because they've been sitting for a while but they're not as pungent as they once were. Yeah. So I think I will move on to fashion and I'll leave beauty for last. The first fashion item is actually the jumper that I'm wearing. Um, all these came from Simply Bee all the jumpers so I'm going to show you a couple more. Um, it's just like a quite a thick jumper. In fact I think this might have been on the sale. Um, most of what I buy from there is on the sale because it can be quite pricey. Um, I just wanted some nice um, winter jumpers but it's like this kind of, is it a marl effect? And then it's got like navy and green stripes. I just thought it's very different to what I would normally wear. And by the way it is very warm. Uh, next I have a pair of boots. Um, these again are from Simply Be and I have to say I was pretty peed off whenever I got them. I don't know if you can see but there's like stains on them and I haven't worn them yet. Um, there were stains on them and they 
look like a bit scuffed, like on the thing, on the bottoms, like at the toes, they look a bit like they've been worn. Um, so I wasn't impressed um, and I, I can't say I got the best customer service from them whenever I did tell them either. The boots were £15, I'm going to just wear them, I'm happy enough to wear them because they'll get scuffed up anyway. But I think apart from that they're really nice, they've got nice little gold buckles, they're like this ox bloody colour that seems to be everywhere at the moment. And then they've got like the little studs down the back as well. So I think they're really cute, just a little tiny little heel and gold at the toe. Then we have another jumper um, and I wore this yesterday so it's a bit crinkled. Um, it's this stripy jumper, um, it's like beige and black stripes, it's got um, kind of like a slash neck and it's got um, lace around the neck and lace around the sleeves and it's three quarter sleeve and um, it is a bit short on me but I think I'm if I lose a bit of weight which I'm trying to do at the minute no hate thank you um then it will be all right next we have another jumper this is just a plain grey one again I wore it during the week I haven't washed it yet so it's a bit crinkled but it's business in the front and party in the back. It's got a, like a slash at the back, it's open. Um, obviously I'm not wearing it open because that would scare away all the small children. Not that I want the small children around me, but meh. Um, it would scare everybody, but I did work with a black top underneath and I got a couple of comments saying, oh, your cardigan's back to front. <laughs> And last for jumpers, I got this, another stripey number. It's navy and white stripes with hearts on it. Now, what's really funny is, right, so the hearts are pink and they're quite like a washed out pink. And um, I wear a lot of lipstick, as you might know. And every time I look down, it's all the pink. I kept thinking I had got lipstick on my top. Anyway, I think it's really pretty. It's a lovely soft material and um, it's not too thick, neither is the grey one which is good for autumn, it's good for layering and stuff like that and I just think it's kind of cosy and soft and I like it. And the last fashion item is this scarf from Next. It was basically in their sale. I ordered a few things um, for Christmas presents um, for my sister and my mum and my sister and all the other half and stuff like that in the sale because why not and I spotted this and it's a, just a little um, light scarf Ooh, can you see me through it um, and it's got tassels on now I don't have any with tassels on I have to say but it's just nice for like dressing stuff up or just if you're a little bit chilly and you want something around your neck um, and I like the star print. Matthew, I'm filming. Do you need in here? Last but by no means least is the beauty stuff. Um, I think I've just wet my hair. Not that it's very neat anyway, but anyway. Um, this month there's been a lot of freebies flying around. So I thought I would show you stuff that's like so posts so it's on um, Facebook and Twitter that you'd like add people and whatever it's called. What do you call them? Invite people and send them links and stuff. So I've got a few bits from there this month. But they send out samples basically. First one is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. It's just a little sample size of that. Teeny weeny, it's really cute. Um, next then is the Clinique uh, one, two, three step, whatever it's called. Great skin in ten days. Uh, cleanser, no, liquid facial soap, clarifying lotion, and dramatically different moisturizer. Um, then the last little freebie sample is Benefit Air Patrol. Um, it's a BB eye primer and it's got SPF 20 in it and I am wearing it at the moment and I've been wearing it all week actually and it's decent. I'm not convinced that it'd be worth the full price. Um, then next up I have some lip liners. Now I found a website that does um, NYX uh, in the UK and it's called 
can't remember. I'll leave a link to it below anyway. So I thought I would get some lip liners and they're all in very similar tones. But I'm loving that kind of brownie undertone. So the first one I got is Plum, which is probably you're not going to be able to see it that well. Um, but it's like a purpley plumbing colour as the name suggests. Then I got, so these are the um, Slim Lip pencils I think. Um, then I got Ever which is supposed to be a dupe for something but I can't remember what. Something from that um, that's like a browny colour. Maybe a pinky brown, like a rosy brown. Then we have Auburn which is the long lip pencils which is a slightly darker more um, orange based browny colour. Then we have Mahogany which is another darker browny like a red based brown, as mahogany normally is. And then we have mauve, or mauve, which is supposed to be a jet from MAC Sewer or something like that. But, right, so that's five lip liners. And aside from plum, the rest are very, very similar. Um, but yeah, I think they're quite good kind of autumn winter colours. And a disaster. Next, we have two Maybelline lippies. Um, the first is their matte, um, near matte lipsticks in Divine Wine, which is this wine red colour. Oh, that's creamy and that's pigmented as hell. Oh, I can't wait to try that actually. And then I got one of the coloured drama pencils in Very Much. So that really matches well, door, really much as well with the plum lip liner from NYX. So I'll be giving those a go together. And last from Superdrug, which is where I got those two things, is this nail polish. And it's the Tanya Burr uh, New York Night. So it's the old um, packaging. Um, it's just a really dark, very purpley colour. Um, I really like the formula in these actually and they stay quite well compared to other nail polishes on me. And last for Beauty, I got some stuff from Beauty Crowd and I'll probably do reviews on swatches and some of these on my blog. Um, first one is the Beauty Skin Cloth. Now this is supposed to be for stimulating skin and blood circulation um, and it's for your body. I thought it was for your face. I don't know, I'll give it a go and we'll see. Um, then we have from Freedom Makeup the Mono Eyeshadows. I think they are the shimmer ones. Um, Freedom Makeup is a, like a really cheap, affordable brand. I'm sure these were only like pounds. I'm just going to swatch one of them for you just to show you. It's got like a matte. No, hold on, is this matte satin? Purple colour. Um, like a purple and autumn. No, it's not a sun. Um, it's not particularly pigmented on first swatch, but we'll see what it's like over primer. And I got a greeny colour. This is like a kind of shimmery green there. Um, payoff is decent in that one. Um, and this is a shimmery lilac colour. So it's lilac with like a silver shimmer. That's actually really pretty. And then from Belle. Uh, cosmetics. I got a eyeshadow primer. Um, it's one of the little pot primers. It kind of looks like concealer, just like a beige skin tone colour. I also got the liquid eyeliner in brown because I've never had a brown liquid liner. And it seems to be like quite a hard sponge tip. Um, and it's quite a dark brown so that would be nice because I always wear like neutral browny tones and then last but not least we have absolute waterproof eye and lip makeup remover um, it's one of those dual phase, bio phase, whatever you want to call it um, thingies that you shake up and those are my favourite kind of eye makeup remover so I want to try that out. So there we go, that's everything in my haul. It was pretty large, I'm sure you'll agree. I hope you have enjoyed it and let me know what your favourite item is and what you've been buying in the comments below. If you have liked it, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Bye!